Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about subserosal fibroids. We will compare the appearances of the normal uterus with the appearance of subserosal fibroid. These are transvaginal images of the uterus. In the normal uterus, we can see a thin endometrial stripe. This thick muscular layer is the myometrium. This upper portion is the fundus. And the lower portion of the uterus is the cervix. And this is a subserosal fibroid. This type of fibroid grows outwards and distorts the contour of the uterus. It may compress adjacent structures such as the bladder. If we see this type of fibroid, it is a subserosal fibroid. This is another case of subserosal fibroid. It is usually considered a subserosal fibroid when more than half of the fibroid is protruding outwards. The outermost layer of the uterus is the serosa. And this is where a subserosal fibroid is found. We can see this fibroid protruding outwards. So this is a subserosal fibroid. This is a transabdominal image of the uterus showing a subserosal fibroid. We can see the fibroid protruding outwards and it has compressed the bladder wall. Due to this protrusion, we can call it a subserosal fibroid. Some types of subserosal fibroids are pedunculated, which means the fibroid is connected to the uterus by a thin stalk. There is a thin connection between the uterus and the fibroid. So if we see this type of appearance, we will call it a pedunculated subserosal fibroid. Here is another case of pedunculated subserosal fibroid. We can see a fibroid growing outwards and it is connected to the uterus by a thin stalk. Here is another image. We can see a small fibroid protruding outwards from the uterine wall. So this is a subserosal fibroid. Here is another image of a large subserosal fibroid. It has mixed echogenicity with some hypoechoic and hyperechoic areas. And it is growing outwards from the uterine wall. So this is a subserosal fibroid. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.